Let's talk today about a very important, serious and highly requested topic for classical musicians, which is how to get a job or how to succeed in an orchestra audition. Let's be honest, these questions are pretty impossible to answer here through this YouTube video. But I have a proposition for you. Why we don't put it this way? How to increase your chances for an orchestra audition? So as a former principal cellist, I will give you crucial points and a few personal suggestions in order to increase your chances when playing at an orchestra audition. And this applies to all instruments. Before we dive right into this topic, I have one important thing to mention. This video will not guarantee that you will get the job immediately, so in one snap. No, this whole orchestra um, audition preparation, it's a long process. It takes time, patience, experience and unfortunately luck as well. But this video will definitely help you to reflect on a couple of things or to change your mindset. Or if you are a newcomer into this orchestra audition world, then this is very useful to watch. So take your notes, a pencil, because you don't want to lose any of this information. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And well, let's go straight to the points that I have for you. Point number one, and this is probably one of the most important things of the whole audition preparation process, which is time. Time is key. So let's say you have an audition in two months. So from today in two months, you have an orchestra audition. Well, start with it right away. Start to practice. Because when you plan your things well and you start to practice immediately, you're gonna avoid stress. Stress is not good. It is already a stressful situation to prepare for an orchestra audition. This whole process is very stressful. We can either make it more stressful than it already is, or we can make it less stressful. So this depends all on you, how you plan your time. This is very important because first of all, stress, it's not good for the heart and well, it's just not good for the health. So plan your time very well. This is important because also you're competing with other candidates and a few of them, they really want a job. So they have it in their mind. They want a job and they're really disciplined. So you're probably going to meet a few guys that are extremely disciplined. Talent, of course, is very important, but the discipline is even more important. Like, I guess it was Rimsky Korsakov who said that the talent is only 10%. What is the rest is the discipline and the work, which is the 90%. So be disciplined. This is very important. Actually, you're not only competing against the other candidates, you're competing and you're testing out your discipline. So plan your time well. This is very important. Point number two, and this is actually a connection from the previous point. When you are applying for an orchestra audition, mostly on a website, of course, like Musical Chairs or Movak, you already will see the repertoire. So what the orchestra will demand from you. Start with it right away. Don't wait any longer because again, it will save you so much stress. Because the more you study, the more secure you will feel. And when you feel more secure, then you will have a great experience when playing the audition. It doesn't matter the result, if you pass or not, if you get a job or not. Point number three, and this is very important, which is stay in shape, always stay in shape. Let's say you're preparing uh, for a future orchestra audition. And of course, uh, you don't know yet what is the repertoire, but you're crazy to start a practice, so which is great because you plan your time ahead, which is good. But here comes the question, with what would I start? Like, I don't know what is the repertoire, so with what sh or what should I practice? Well, in this case, most of the orchestras, of the major orchestras, they share the, almost the same repertoire. So I'm going to give you a few hints here what you can practice in the meantime. So concertos, we have a classical concerto, we have a romantic concerto, and then a few orchestral excerpts that probably they demand in each orchestra. So let's start with the classical concerto. 
As a classical concerto, I always had to play Haydn concerto in D major, and always it was the Maurice Gendron version, so the edition of Maurice Gendron because of its challenging cadenza. So this is my recommendation. Haydn D major, first movement with the cadenza of Gendron. You're gonna have lots of work to do here, so this is a score that you can grab and start practice right away. Sometimes it happens that they ask also the second movement, but maybe they will not even ask. But anyway, focus on the first movement because this is a concerto that will take more time. It needs to get mature. Haydn Concerto in D is a concerto that I play all the time. I try to play it every day, at least a few bits of it. The technical bits and uh, especially the cadenza of Jean Drum because it counts like 10 proper etudes in one. So 10 etudes packed in one. So this is something that you will need some time for it. Another romantic concerto. So in most orchestra auditions, they ask either first movement of Schumann concerto or either Dvorak concerto, first movement. I would rather go for the Dvorak cello concerto because already Haydn is a very delicate concerto, very difficult to play. And Schumann also is extremely delicate, so I would go more for the Dvorak. I don't know, this is my personal suggestion, but uh, you guys do, of course, what you want. But I would go for Haydn and Dvorak. Now about orchestra excerpts. Well, there are, of course, so many and yeah, it changes, you know, from audition to audition. But a few orchestral excerpts that for sure that they will ask is the Beethoven, the Fifth Symphony, Second Movement, the Andante con Moto. In many orchestras, they ask the Offertorio from the Requiem by Verdi, the Scherzo from Midsummer Night of Mendelssohn, Don Juan of Strauss. Sometimes they might ask Ein Heldenleben, a uh, hero's life of uh, Strauss. But okay, we can take that out. But these four are really the common, the big four, let's say. So Beethoven, Verdi, Mendelssohn and Strauss. This definitely. Point number four. Let's say that you know the repertoire of the audition, but then comes the question, with what shall we start first? On the left hand, we have the concertos. And on the right hand, we have the orchestral excerpts. With what shall we start? Well, that's up to you. That's completely up to you. But keep it in balance. Both are very important, but I would rather go focusing more on the orchestral excerpts. Because orchestral excerpts demand more time than concertos, because it requires more thought and discipline. But also, don't leave the concertos on the last call. Remember point number one. Time is key, so plan your time well. Now, the next few points are going to be points that I personally will suggest to you based on my experiences. So here goes point number five. You might want to listen carefully the recordings of the given music. This is very important because by listening carefully to the music, you will know what's happening in the music. You're knowing what's happening in the other instruments and so on. Besides listening to a great recording and time by time to play along with it, it will really help you to understand the music and hopefully it will inspire you. Point number six, which is don't play everything the same way. So on one line. So know what you play. You cannot play Haydn as it would be Shostakovich or you cannot play Beethoven as it would be Puccini. What often happens is that the candidate plays most of the pieces or at least a few different styles in the same way and this can be quite disturbing to listen for the jury. So do a research, do a research about the composers, about their works, about their styles, listen to great recordings performed by great artists so that you really understand what is what. This takes some time but I promise you, you will be rewarded and you will be grateful when you have this knowledge. Now, point number seven, and this one is pretty interesting. So we have the concertos and we have the orchestra excerpts. These are two totally different things. Let's start with the concertos. 
It's okay, it's good actually to show your personality on these concertos. By my taste, you definitely can put a personal touch, but always remember the composer and its music stands above you. So don't put your ego about the, above the music. The music stands above you. Make the jury to enjoy your interpretation. Tell a story. Tell them what you need to tell. Now the orchestral excerpts, and this is a total different approach. You need to show and prove that you are in control of everything. So you know the music very well. You know what happens in the other instrumental parts, the phrasings, the accuracy, rhythm, intonation, dynamics, and so on. Many things to keep in mind, right? But this will open interest and your chances will just increase more and more. So these were the main points, but I still have three tips for you that will boost things even more up. One, find yourself a professional that can orientate you during this whole process. It could be your teacher or it could be um, someone that has a lot of orchestra experience. I would go more for the one that has a lot of orchestra experience because, of course, he will know more than a soloist, let's say, for instance. Two, organize tryouts or make simulations of your auditions program. So that means play the whole program through for your teacher, for your friends, for your colleagues and so on. This is very important because each time when you're playing the whole program through, you are breaking the ice bit by bit and you're gonna feel even more secure. So this is important. Make simulations or these tryouts. And three, well, this one is easier said than done, of course, but enjoy the moment. Play music. Enjoy this whole thing. You worked so hard to come until there. There is no reason to stress out or to freak out. So if you planned your time very well and you organized everything according to plan, I mean, there is no reason to worry. So really go for it. Enjoy the moment, play music, tell a story, make the jury enjoy your interpretation. That's all what I have to say. And with this, before closing this video, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found these uh, points and tips useful. And I hope you will apply them in future auditions. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.